Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. For those of you that are following us, uh, you know that we are in the midst of packing up all of our belongings to move to the off-grid property. Today I wanted to talk to you about one of the items that we're taking with us, and that is our incubator. This is the unit itself. It is the Hoverbader Genesis 1588 with the automatic egg turner. Uh, I've had a couple egg incubators and this is by far my favorite. The only thing negative that I have to say about this is I don't like the material that it's made out of. It's this high density styrofoam so it gets nicks and um, marks all over it very very easily if you are not careful with how you store it. Another thing that I dislike about it is the handles to open up the lid. There's an indent but there's no actual lip to get your fingers under and lift the lid up off, off the unit itself. So what has actually happened over time is I've been using this little front notch to lift the lid up. My fingernails have kind of dug in in a groove and so I just use that kind of more as a, a lever to lift the lid up. Other than that, it's been a great unit. I've had it for, oh, going on two years now. It is completely automatic, including having a automatic egg turner, which is absolutely fabulous. It monitors the temperature and the humidity in the, in the device at all times. It does not have a countdown, so I do use Hatchabatch app on my phone, which is a great app that is completely free to be able to um, monitor your eggs when they need to be turned, and it will even tell you at what stage of development that the eggs are in, so that is kind of cool. If you have kids, um, it kind of tells you, you know, if you were to candle it at, on day, you know, day 8 or day 10 it will kind of tell you what's going on in the egg inside so that's that's pretty cool the reason why uh, we chose to buy this unit in the first place is we always knew that we were going to go to an off-grid property and this particular model can be converted to a 12 volt system so when you first purchase this it does come with the standard household plug-in but at this end of this little power box here um, is it comes unplugged and you can uh, purchase the 12 volt connecting system and you can convert back and forth as needed so if you happen to be you know in in a standard electrical home and you have a power outage and you're incubating eggs you can quickly set it up to a 12 volt system so that you don't end up losing all of your hard work um, another thing that I like about this this particular unit with the automatic egg turner is that the egg cups themselves actually come out and I don't know if you can really it's kind of hard to see but I have taken out the majority of the egg holders on the left hand side and I have the eggs that I'm hatching now on the right hand side so when we sold the house uh, the people that put in the offer, they wanted to take the turkeys and the chickens with the house sale. I kind of met them halfway and told them that I would hatch them some turkeys and some chickens for them so that they can get started. And I put the turkey eggs in about 12 days ago. I put the chicken eggs in just the other day. So they are going to hatch at different times and that's okay. It's not ideal, but it is okay. So what I've done is I've taken those egg turners off on the left hand side. And in between the t in between, there is um, some cardboard that I have that goes all the way across down the middle, dividing where the eggs are and where I've taken out those egg turners. So what's going to happen is when the turkey eggs are going to get ready to hatch, I will take them and move them into the left hand side of the egg incubator, put them blunt end or the, the big end up in some egg cartons, increase the humidity and allow them to hatch. The cardboard that I have in the middle is going to prevent chicks from getting underneath the two remaining egg turners and preventing them from getting injured or even killed. 
So during the turkey's hatch time, the humidity is going to be increased. The chicken eggs aren't going to be hatching, but that's okay. So once the turkeys have hatched and they've been removed and put into a brooder, I will decrease the humidity in, in the incubator to offset for that increase in the humidity. We try to keep our incubator at 55% humidity during the first phase of the egg incubation. And that is just to control how much fluid actually gets evaporated out of the egg. So if you have increased humidity for uh, during that first phase is a little bit too high, that's okay. You can compensate by lowering it back down. The biggest thing is to monitor those air cells within the eggs. And as long as they're at the right size when it comes to the last three day lockdown, doesn't matter what your humidity's at. They're, it's, it's workable. It's not thing, I know people that are, that are new at hatching get really freaked out about their humidity but there's a lot of room for error and a lot of opportunity to make adjustments for that. So anyways, this is the incubator. It is a fantastic model. I've had great success with it. The majority of the times I get 100% hatch out. Um, I think the worst I've ever gotten was 90%. So that is pretty darn good. And it is convertible to a 12 volt system.